Hi everyone, Matt Sosman here, and I wanna show you how to set up Azure Active Directory single sign-on for Slack, and then a demo of what that looks like on both a Mac and a Windows 10 PC. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at how we get started with this. So within the Azure Active Directory portal, uh, I'm gonna click on Enterprise Applications, and then I'm gonna click on New Application and load in um, Slack by just doing a search here for Slack. And so I've actually already done this, and if I go back here and show you, here's Slack, and I've loaded it in, and once I've loaded it, I'm gonna go to single sign-on, and I'm gonna choose SAML as my single sign-on method, and then from there, I'm gonna go through and fill out the fields. Now, to do this, there's a really nice configuration guide that Microsoft has written that will walk you through step-by-step how to do this. And so you could just click on that link to read that guide. Now, I filled out sosman.slack.com for the basic SAML configuration. And then for user attributes and claims, I took the defaults, except there's one that I needed to map, and that was user.username to user.userprincipal name. That's covered in the documentation. And then from the SAML signing certificate, I needed to download that certificate and I upload it to Slack and I'll show you more of that here in just a moment. And then over here on Setup Slack, we're gonna use these three links to copy and then paste into Slack. And then after that, we'll test it. Now over here on the left side, to get access to Slack, I had to add my test user, Megan, to the user column here, or I could add her to a security group and add that security group so she has appropriate access to Slack. Now on provisioning, if this was a, a real production environment, I'd wanna turn on provisioning, which would use Skim to go through and create those uh, identities in Slack. And that way uh, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. You create an Azure AD, it automatically gets created in Slack. Okay, so that's how we set up single sign-on on the Azure Active Directory side. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Now on the Slack side, I've already done that. So over here on Slack, I'm gonna go into uh, the main settings page here and I'm gonna click on authentication and I'm gonna set up SSO. So let me just show you what I did here. So we're just gonna go ahead and authenticate. And then I essentially took the URLs down here like login URL and it ends in B6 SAML2 and you can see over here B6 SAML2, so I just copied that URL, pasted it in here. Identity provider issuer, this one ends in B6 as well. And so I just come back over here and copy that and paste it in there. Public certificate, this is a certificate that I downloaded from here. So base64, download, and then you would actually open it in a notepad uh, and then paste that um, certificate in here. And so if I just click on edit, that's how you would do that. Now advanced options, I'm not gonna go into. That's, um, that's for another day, we'll save that. And then here's some interesting settings. So for me, I want all workspace members of my Slack workspace to authenticate using Azure Active Directory single sign-on and not any kind of legacy credentials. I don't want them to allow to change their email address. I don't want them to allow to change their uh, display name, nor do I want them uh, to update the profile each time they sign in. So I just disabled that. And then over here, you can actually type out a custom uh, label for the button. So I put sign in with Azure Active Directory. And so that's it. Now, what's interesting here is if you click on this, you can go to test the configuration. And then down here at the bottom, you'll have a nice little test button to go through it. So once you fill out the Azure Active Directory portion here, and then you fill out the Slack portion just by copy and pasting the fields, you're ready to go in and start testing. So let's open up a new and private tab here and let's browse out to sosman.slack.com. And this is gonna ask me to sign in with Azure Active Directory. And when I do that, it's gonna redirect me here to my Azure AD website with, or sign on page rather with my company logo. I'm gonna sign in. And then once I'm signed in, it's gonna redirect to Slack and there you go. And now we're logged in to Slack. So it's as easy as that to get it set up. Just remember, you have to add the enterprise app, you have to change the single sign-on mode to SAML, fill out these fields according to the documentation, it's super easy. Cut, copy, paste, add the user to the user uh, pane here or to a group and then add the group, and you're off to the races. And in production, I would definitely set up provisioning 
and that would go through and um, automatically create the user account over in Slack. We'll do another video on this. And then self-service, we'll do another video on this, but this is through the myapps.microsoft.com portal. All right, so let's take a look at what this looks like on a Windows 10 machine launching Slack. Okay, so here we are on my Windows 10 machine, and I wanna point something out. This machine is joined to Azure Active Directory, and you can see that here. Now, if this was also hybrid joined, meaning it was joined to an on-premise Windows Server Active Directory, and that was synced to Azure Active Directory, you'd have the same behavior as well. So what I'm gonna do is launch Microsoft Edge, and this is the first time I'm launching Slack on this computer. So I'm gonna to go to sosma.slack.com, and because the machine is joined to Azure Active Directory, it's true single sign-on in my opinion, and it just logs me right into Slack. I don't get prompted for any kind of authentication. So that's the web page. Now let's go in and try the desktop version of Slack. So we're gonna launch the desktop client, and give this a moment, and click sign in. It's gonna launch the website. It's gonna ask me to enter in my workspace URL here, sysma.slack.com, and then it's gonna sign me in, ask me to launch the desktop client, and now I'm authenticating and I'm, in, I'm inside the Slack desktop client. All right, so there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful and valuable. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Hit me up on LinkedIn, and by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.